Yes, these must have items. Let me see if I've got them all. Diapers, check. Extra bed sheets, yes. Receiving blanket, I don't even know what that is, but I have it. Bag of ice, thermometer, rubbing alcohol, yes. Duct tape, duct tape. Max, he's really gonna have to explain that one. Okay, once you've assembled your supplies, you have everything you need for a happy, successful home birth. Everything except a mommy. Where are you, Maxie? She's here. And she's beautiful. Can you hold her up so I can see her? Austin? Mm -hmm. What is it? What's wrong? Wait. Why isn't she crying? Okay. Hey. Baby Louise, Mama wants to say hi. I think you can say hi back. You do that. Oh, thank God. That is the best sound I've ever heard. break. Go home and get some rest. I can't stop until I find an antidote to the toxin. You know, if we're doing this properly, we'd have dozens of people working around the clock. Instead, it's just me. Elizabeth, what if I'm not capable of solving this in time to save Chase? You know, I watched you cure Hayden when she was exposed to Blackwoods. You were flying solo then, too. And you managed to save my sister. You'll do it again. I have faith in you. I appreciate the vote of confidence. But it's gonna take a lot more than faith. Hi. Sorry. Um, I just came straight from the airport. I hope I'm not too late. Maxie, it's me. I'm at the house in Beecher's Corners, just like we planned, but I haven't heard from you since you left for the spa. Were you able to ditch your private nurse, and is Bobby gonna meet us? Just call me on the burner, okay? in every way. You have no idea how happy I am to be holding you in my arms and to count your ten little fingers and your ten little toes. I don't even know how to thank you. You just did. So here I was, stumbling through the woods, and I run across a doctor who is looking like a half-naked mountain man. <laughs> I'm so glad you did it. <laughs> Maxie, now that I have a minute, I'm going to try and get some cell service. Okay? We need to get you into an ambulance. No, you can't do that. He's going to find us. If you want me to leave, just say the word. Please stay. Elizabeth knows everything. That Peter was responsible for the toxin that was intended for me, but wound up in chase. Yeah. It all comes back to Peter, doesn't it? If only people hadn't covered for him. If only he hadn't been coddled so much, Chase's life wouldn't be hanging by a thread, Jason wouldn't be on the run, and Franco would still be alive. You know what? I, I don't even think I'm going to try to justify or explain any of my past actions. Because, quite frankly, it's too late for that. But what I do want to do is urge us to act fast. Valentine believes that Peter is planning on leaving Port Charles. Okay? Well, that means the drug that's keeping Chase alive will be leaving with him. Yes. So I'm hoping that my trip to Ireland could help you in some way. Consider this a gift from the late, great Sean Donnelly. <laughs> 